Hey, it's Michael Rosso. I was given a roll of Kodak Ektachrome Type A Super 8, expired November 1989. <laughs> 30 years later, I popped this roll into my Minolta XL601 Super 8 camera and shot this roll of film. The thing about 1980s expired Ektachrome Super 8 films is that Type A and Type G, the processing is no longer supported. This is process EM25 or EM26, and labs do not offer this. It's a special service, and I found that out the hard way by Googling and finding that labs were offering processing at an intense increased price. So what to do? Well, I sent the film over to super pal Owen McCaffrey, who processes his own Super 8 and 16 millimeter simply by using a Lomo tank easily found on eBay and the FPP E6 color slide kit. That's right, the only difference between new Ektachrome and old Ektachrome is that this old Ektachrome had a carbon based layer on it, a black carbon based layer. So, my advice, of course, if you have this old, old film and you're shooting it, is to process it yourself. If you have family memories that you found in a closet or attic, perhaps it's worth the price to send it out to labs if you're not doing your own processing. But back to the film and back to the shoot, and I handed it over to Dave at FPP, Film Photography Project Scan Services, where we scan this film on our laser graphics scan station. So Ektachrome is a, is a positive film, something you can project in a film projector, but if it's a very old film, you may want to get it scanned and color corrected. We do offer these services at Film Photography Project for any Super 8, 16mm or 35mm motion picture film. Here's a before and after. As you can see, there is a difference, a big difference, but the film is 30 years old and sitting so long, it is grossly expired and has amazing increased grain and color shifts that cannot be corrected 100%. Uh, for its age, I think it turned out pretty well. What you're watching is our film photography podcast recording sessions. We're taking our, our break here. It's Pizza Friday with Pizza Pie from local Bella Vita Pizza in Fairlawn. If you see Ektachrome Type A or Type G Super 8 film on eBay, the question is, is it worth picking up? The answer, of course, is, is this, if this is the look you're looking for, then absolutely. If you're looking for this high grain uh, color shift and you can process it yourself, I'd say, why not? Why not? Because the, the film is much cheaper than buying a fresh roll of Kodak Ektachrome film. Or, of course, as I mentioned, if you find a roll of family film that has never been processed, it certainly would be worth getting a process to rediscover those almost lost family memories. But I just wanted to share uh, our results here. You can always email me, michael at filmphotographyproject.com, the filmphotographystore.com. We do stock fresh Super 8 film, as well as offer scan services for both Super 8 or 16 millimeter. It's Michael Rosso over and out, and get out there and shoot. I'll talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.